Jesus did so many things until there were many who wrote down what they saw, who eyewitnessed what they wrote of the account of the things that Jesus the Christ did. The eyewitnesses that saw what Jesus did, even from the beginning, were precise and they delivered that word to us. O Theophilus, I too want to add what I saw as an eyewitness. Theophilus, I just want you to be certain that what you have received is the truth of the word. While Herod was in leadership, there was a couple who, whose name was Zacharias and Elizabeth, and they both were the daughter and son of priest. They did those things as husband and wife that was blameless. They were righteous before God. Elizabeth was barren and they had no children and now they were very old. It's Zacharias time to go back to work. It's his turn to be the priest who burned incense in the temple of the Lord. Many were praying outside of the temple while Zacharias was serving inside. An angel of the Lord appeared to Zechariah and spoke to him, saying, But Zechariah said, Oh Lord, what is this? He was troubled and fear fell on him. Your prayer has been heard, Zechariah. You will have a son. You've been praying for a deliverer, and he's a part of that deliverance. And you said, I will have a son and he will be joy to you. He will not be a burden to you. The angel gave details of the son Zacharias would have, whose name would be John. He said he would be great in the sight of the Lord. He would not drink strong drinks or wine. And he would be filled with the Holy Ghost from his mama's womb. The word of God declared that this boy, when he's born, will cause many to turn to the word of the Lord. Many people would pick up the book of God, study it, and they will find out that God is God. Now, you know, that's the only way you're going to meet God is through his word. Zacharias responded to the angel and said, I am old and my wife is too. How are we going to have a child? The angel of the Lord told Zechariah, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Gabriel, and I'm speaking the things of God, and the things of God are true. Zacharias, everything I told you will come to pass, but you will be done, meaning you will not speak until the baby is born. Zacharias was talking with the angel. The people outside was wondering what is taking him so long. And he finally came out, and he could not speak, just as the angel said. They thought... Zacharias had seen a vision. Zacharias used his hand to beckon the people because he couldn't talk. His duty in the temple was over for a minute. Zachariah went home. Elizabeth was pregnant for six months and she told no one. Okay, cut that, cut that motor down. I need to talk. Hey, y'all, the Lord doesn't show me favor. I'm pregnant and I'm an old lady too. Elizabeth is six months pregnant, and God sends Gabriel to Nazareth to meet Mary, a virgin of the house of David. The angel said, hey, Mary, you are favored of God. You are blessed among women. Mary like, what? Uh, okay, so what? So what? What? He said, don't be afraid. God has found favor in you and wants to use you. And the angel of the Lord, whose name is Gabriel, announced to Mary. He said, you will conceive in your womb. You will have a son and call him Jesus. He will be powerful. He will be called the son of the highest. He will be given the throne of his father, David. 
He will always be king of my people. No one will ever take his place. Mary asked the angel, she said, how can this be being that I am a virgin? I don't know a man. And he said, the Holy Ghost will come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. And that seed will be in you, will be called the son of God. Mary, not only are you pregnant, your cousin Elizabeth at her age is pregnant with a son also. Mary, with God, nothing will ever be impossible. Mary said, Lord, I am yours. Let it be according to the words you have spoken to me. And the angel that spoke left her. And the angel left Mary. Mary left to go into the hill country in the city of Judah. Hey, cousin Elizabeth. Hey, cousin Mary. Welcome to my house. When Elizabeth heard the voice of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, little John leaping in the womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. Mary, Mary, blessed are you among women. No. The Holy Ghost fell upon Elizabeth, and she told the truth. She said, Mary. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Now, Mary, let me calm down. How is it that you, being the mother of my Lord, come to visit me? This design is by my granddaughter, Parker. Elizabeth told Mary, as soon as you walked in, that boy inside of me leaped. Oh, my God. Me. Mary, may God be in my life. I want to ready go. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Spirit, my Savior. My Savior. That is mighty have done to me. Great things and holy his name and his mercy on them that fear him from generation. Generation. He showed his strength with his arms. He scattered the crowd in the imagination of their hearts. Hey, have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard? God is going to put down the mighty from the seats and exalt them of low degree. Have you heard? 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 Da, 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 da. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has set empty away. Y'all tell me if y'all like this lipstick. I got to sing this song. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of I like this. His mercy. Hey, it's me again. 
Yo, girl, Mary, I want to tell you what's up. You know, when God spoke, he spoke to our fathers. He spoke to Abraham and he's still speaking today. Are you a seed of God? Then he's talking to you too. You know, I've been with you for almost three months. I'm showing a little bit now, but I'm going to have to get on out of here and get back to the house. Yeah, Mary, I'm so glad you spent this time with me. It has been wonderful. I was just sitting here looking at my time. It's almost time to give birth to this little boy. Elizabeth, time to give birth has come. Her cousins, her neighbors, and they have a little boy. And somebody said, hi, it's little Zachariah. And she said everything. He's circumcised. And she said, don't call him Zachariah. His name is John. Don't call him that. John. She said, now look, Liz. Boy, ain't nobody in the family named Zachariah. She said his name is John. And they asked Zachariah, said, what should we call this boy? He said, give me something to write with. His name is John. And the people said, what? They said the same thing. And he began to praise God. His mouth flew open. And he began to worship God. And the people said that. And the word got on the street now. And they said, that's amazing. So what kind of child is this? Who child? What, what, what kind of child is this that God has given this type of recognition? And John's mouth came open. Well, Zachariah's mouth came open. And he began to talk about his son and his part For in the nine months, king. Zachariah did not speak. But when God loosed his tongue and filled him with the Holy Ghost, he spoke and prophesied of the coming of the horn of salvation, who is Jesus. From the beginning of time, God has not changed. These are the words of Zechariah. The enemy of God has fought against God, and that is religion, and that is what God is trying to keep us from. He said, I gave you my word, my covenant, that I would keep mercy. I will keep my word. I swore to your father Abraham, and I will keep my word. Religion makes us fearful of God. God wants us to serve him. Having the book or the word of God of holiness is a clear way of how to do things right. Zechariah prophesied to his son, his only child, he said, you must educate people about what sin does to them so they will stop. Show them how to walk in the light of the word of God all the time. John grew in the knowledge of God. John grew in the knowledge of God. He walked in the knowledge of God. John was found in the desert. Repent, the kingdom of God is at hand.